Hey guys, Hamster Wheel here with a new video and today we're doing another comparison test based on one of my previous videos where I put up some classic gear against some Burning Crusade gear. And that got me inspired to do another gear showdown. This time however, we're going to see if the best gear in classic can hold a candle to Burning Crusade gear. That's right, the best possible gear one can get in the entirety of classic. Can it hold up against Burning Crusade gear? Well, let's find out. So here is how I set this up. First I chose 6 different classes and specs that I'm at least somewhat familiar with, which were the Mage, Warlock, Hunter, Elemental Shaman, Rogue and Balance Druid. It's also a little bit of everything, meaning classic caster DPS, meme specs, ranged DPS that doesn't use spells and melee DPS. I then looked up the classic best in slot list for all the classes and specs that I chose and then gave those characters that gear. Apart from Atiesh, which wasn't in the classic best in slot list for some reason, even though they're obviously best in slot for warlocks and mages, so those two got the staff. I will leave the best in slot lists in the video description if you're curious about exactly what classic items are used for every class and spec. After that I also gave every single class and spec another gear set that will be give or take what you would wear before stepping into raids and then another gear set which is basically raiding gear from Karazhan, Gruuslayer and Mactheridon Slayer. So basically our best in slot classic gear will go up against pre-raid burning crusade gear as well as some raiding gear. After that I once again returned to my little DPS test area but this time I expanded on the buffs and debuffs a little bit more with a lot more beneficial buffs for me and on the target. Stimulating more of a 25 man rating environment if you will as if you were doing Gruul's Lair or Mactheridon. With the addition of extra buffs like Curse of Elements, Improved Scorch, Shadow Weaving, Misery, Curse of Recklessness and a whole bunch of other things. After I got all that set up with multiple macros, I did multiple DPS tests per gear set and per class and took an average of those to rule out any DPS tests where I just happened to be extremely lucky with a lot of crits. And well, those average numbers will decide just how well the best in slot classic gear will stack up against the Burning Crusade gear. Alright, and without further ado, let's see if the best gear in classic can hold a candle to Burning Crusade gear. And we're starting off with the mage with the best in slot classic gear. In this gear the mage did an average of 1230.3 dps. Then we move on to the pre-raid burning crusade gear. In this gear we did an average of 1152.6 dps. Yes, that's less than the classic gear. And finally burning crusade raiding gear. And with this gear, the mage did an average of 1334.3 dps. So as we saw in the footage and displayed on this little graph, we've seen that yes, the mage did more dps with best in slot classic gear than with pre-raid burning crusade gear. Though admittedly, it didn't really surprise me a lot, cause the ATH mage staff is just insanely good. The classic gear did get beaten by burning crusade gear, but not by a whole lot. 104 dps to be exact, so it beat out pre-raid gear and came pretty darn close to the burning crusade raiding gear. Not too shabby for gear from classic and it just shows how ridiculously powerful that gear is. Well, for mages, cause we're moving on to the next class and that is the warlock. Alright and we're once again starting off with the best in slot classic gear. And like the mage, the warlock is also wielding that legendary ATS staff. With classic best in slot gear, it did an average of 1321.6 dps. An amazing number which is really impressive considering it's only level 60 gear. Then we're gonna check out pre-raid burning crusade gear. And with this the warlock did an average of 1369.2 dps. And then finally burning crusade raiding gear. And the warlock pulled out a very impressive average of 1707.1 dps. So while Burning Crusade Raiding Gear is clearly the winner here with a massive 1707.1 DPS, we have to once again give credit for the classic best in slot gear for really putting up a good fight, with the pre-raid Burning Crusade gear only doing 47.6 DPS more on average. That is super close, and on its own, that 1321.6 DPS the classic gear does is better than what some classes do in tier 4 raiding gear, so it's definitely nothing to be ashamed about. Moving on to the Hunter and we're starting with best in slot classic gear. 
and with this gear the Hunter did an average of 1203.2 DPS. Moving on to pre-raid Burning Crusade gear, and this time the Hunter did an average of 1302.6 DPS. And then finally Burning Crusade raiding gear, which turned out a very impressive 1532.1 DPS. So with the Hunter it's kind of the same story as the Warlock. There's a clear gap between pre-raid and raiding Burning Crusade gear, but it's not like the classic gear was really far behind, with it only doing 99.4 DPS less than the pre-raid Burning Crusade gear. And on its own, that 1,203.2 DPS is again a very respectable number in 25-man raids. Then it's time for the Elemental Shaman. Admittedly a bit of a meme, because finding an Elemental Shaman with Bats and Slot classic gear is going to be super rare. But since Elemental is a very viable spec in BC, I couldn't help but give this spec with Best in Slot Classic gear a go as well. So with this gear level, the Shaman did an average of 988.9 DPS. Moving on to pre-raid Burning Crusade gear. And with this gear, the Shaman did an average of 1032.1 DPS. And then last but not least, some raiding gear. And with this, it did a very strong 1505.3 DPS. So with the Elemental Shaman, there's actually quite a big gap between pre-raid and raiding gear. And that's because there's some insanely good items for Elemental Shamans that can be obtained in these raids, like the Lightning Capacitor and a few other items. The difference between pre-raid and raiding gear is a whopping 473.2 DPS. And while the classic gear is not even close to Burning Crusade raiding gear, it definitely put up a really good fight against pre-raid Burning Crusade gear with only a small difference of 43.2 DPS. It's the only class so far though that did below the quadruple digits in terms of DPS, but even that kind of DPS is still pretty acceptable for 25 man raids, though admittedly not really for an elemental shaman. And then we move on to the rogue, starting off with the best in slot classic gear. With this gear it did an average of 750.5 DPS which might seem lower than what some rogues in classic are doing, but keep in mind that world buffs and many other classic buffs that vastly increase the damage of melees aren't a thing anymore in the Burning Crusade. So like many other classes, they are tied to just using a flask, some buffs from food, and one or two other things. Moving on to pre-raid Burning Crusade gear. And with this gear, the rogue did a more impressive average of 876.9 DPS. And finally, Burning Crusade raiding gear. And with this gear, the Rogue did an average of 960.1 DPS. So with the Rogue, things are a little different. The classic gear fell behind the pre-raid Burning Crusade gear a little bit more than the other classes, with a difference of 126.4 DPS, while the Burning Crusade gear was obviously the winner here, getting close to those quadruple DPS digits. And then last but not least, because I couldn't resist, I lumped in the Ballast Druid with the rest of the people. And like the Elemental Shaman, it's probably unlikely you'll ever see a balanced druid rolling around with this type of insane gear, though there's probably going to be at least one crazy druid who's gonna have it, but it's still kind of fun to see just how much DPS they will do versus Burning Crusade gear. So, for this gear level, the balanced druid did an average of 869.6 DPS. Moving on to pre-raid Burning Crusade gear. And with this gear, the balanced druid did an average of 888.9 DPS. And then to finish things off, Burning Crusade raining gear for the Balanced Druid. And with that gear, it did an average of 1147.5 DPS. And like many other classes, Burning Crusade raining gear is by far the biggest winner here. But it is pretty cool to see just how close the best in slot classic gear got to pre-raid Burning Crusade gear. With only a tiny difference of 19 DPS. So that's pretty interesting to see. Though, let it be said that nothing can touch that solid 1147.5 DPS the raiding gear did. And admittedly, the classic best in slot gear doesn't really hold up well, as such DPS numbers will probably put you in the bottom of the DPS list in 25-man raids. So just as a little extra, how did the classes do in terms of competing with each other? Well, let's check out that real quick while we have these numbers. When it comes to the best in slot classic gear, the Warlock came in first, the Mage came in second, the Hunter third, the Elemental Shaman fourth, the Balanced Druid fifth, and the last place goes to the Rogue. 
In terms of pre-raid Burning Crusade gear, the Warlock is once again in first place, the Hunter came in second, the Mage third, the fourth place goes to the Elemental Shaman, the fifth place to the Balanced Druid and last place to the Rogue. And then finally Burning Crusade raiding gear. And what do you know, the Warlock came in first again and did the most DPS of this entire video, with a massive 1707.1 DPS. However, the Hunter came in second this time and the Elemental Shaman came in third. Fourth place goes to the Mage, fifth place goes to the Balanced Druid and last place to the Rogue. Yeah, I know, the Rogue couldn't really match up against such huge numbers. And well, I'm also not the most experienced Rogue player. Though admittedly, Combat PvE has a simple rotation that I did my best to execute to a T. So yeah, it was the best I could do for now. I have no doubt though, a Rogue Veteran can probably do more damage. And well, that's it in terms of DPS showdowns and gear comparisons for now. Now just as a reminder, I'd like to say that you should take these DPS tests with a grain of salt. I mean, there's a ton of other factors that come into play during raid DPS, for instance having to move, having to briefly stop due to high aggro, getting CC by one of the boss's abilities, your raid setup being less or more ideal than what I have here, the professions that you have that could boost your damage, you know, like enchanters who have 12 spell damage on rings, leather workers with drums of battle, and the list just goes on and on. There was just no way to perfectly simulate all that on my own server with me doing the work. But I still felt like this was a reasonable attempt to try and test things. I mean, for instance, I had to work with several macros to keep buffs up like Shadow Weaving, which only lasts 15 seconds. And of course, in an actual raid environment, there would just be a Shadow Priest throwing spells that keep it up for you. So it wasn't exactly ideal, but after all, it was the best I felt I could do myself. For now though, I think we can draw a conclusion on how well the best in slot classic gear has performed. Well, on its own, some classes with classic best in slot gear definitely pulled up some very impressive numbers. I mean, anything over a thousand DPS in tier four raids is more than you are required to do in let's say Gruul's Lair. And hey, the mage even beat out pre-raid Burning Crusade gear that you get out of heroic dungeons. So that's definitely a nice accomplishment. As well as many other cases where the classic gear got really, really close to beating the Burning Crusade gear. Which just goes to show that based on what I've been able to see, classic best in slot gear can indeed put up a really good fight against Burning Crusade gear. Just not Burning Crusade raiding gear though. Cause most numbers were just miles apart when it came to comparing those two. Anyway guys, I hope you liked this video as it was admittedly a lot of work to put this all together. As always, I want to thank you for watching this video. I'm Hamster Wheel and have a good one.